welcome to my video here on a Friday afternoon or morning or maybe you're watching on another day. I have a really quick video for you guys today that feature my life lately digital collection. This is for memory keeping for Project Life. I'm going to show you how I've used these in my Project Life album. I used a set in uh, January and this is what really sparked the idea for me to do this. Um, you can see here I did some days of the week. So I did um, Monday through Saturday are the ones that I used. Um, they are items that you can print out and I'm going to show you the ones that I've done. So I did this set here that is the days of the week. I just didn't use Sunday, but Sunday is included in that set. It has a grid background. I also did a set of these days of the week in color. So I did them in like a rainbow color and I actually saw Ali Edwards stamp out a set of cards one week and I loved the idea, but I didn't have the stamp set that she used and I didn't really have a chunky set that would look like what she did. So I just created it digitally. And these are cards that I do give out in my membership. And I do have plans to put these up for sale where you could just purchase them if you weren't part of the membership. Currently, I've been creating a set, just about one set every week. And it's just something that when I think of something that I would like to have in my album, sometimes I just make it if I can't find you know, exactly what I'm looking for or, um, you know, I just want to be able to alter it in a certain way. So I did this set and this says grateful for, um, I think it says grateful for this day and it has a camera on there. This one has a grid background as well. I tend to like cards that have either lines or my favorite is when it has a grid because I'm not great at writing straight if I don't have something to follow. So a lot of the cards you will see um, uh, that I'm designing have that either the lines or the grid. The other thing that I did, you're going to see a set that I did that does not have lines. And the reason for that is because I thought it would be really cool to be able to put a photo in the spot instead of doing journaling. So I'll show you that. But these, if you're in the membership, um, if you are ev just even on the YouTube membership here, I try to upload them uh, each time that I do them and you can find the link to them by going back. So if you sign up now and you just scroll back through the community post, you'll see the link. I provide them in this digital form where you can print them so you get the link and you click on it and then it'll bring up the page and then you can print them and these three by four i've only done three by four so far um, i do plan on doing four by six at a later time um, but i've done three by four and so you can cut them out there's four to a page i've kept everything else on the page really minimal so that you're not wasting a lot of ink and there are no instructions on the page because I hate printing stuff out that has instructions. <laughs> I feel like it's such a waste of ink and paper to have to print out instructions, um, particularly for something that is so simple like this where you're just cutting. There are lines on there, but they're not, the lines are meant to guide you on where to cut. They're not meant to be part of the design. So the light gray design line around it is not part of the design. It's just meant to help you guide you where you're going to cut. Now this says this moment and this is the card that I designed. There's no lines or grid on it and it is so that it could double as a place for you to put your photo. So I thought it would be really cool if you printed out a photo and put it in that spot and then it would fit in a three by four pocket. Currently the only line that I have for um, this these designs are my well I'm calling life lately and that's what they're meant to be like what is happening in life lately that you would want to document this moment I'm grateful for those days of the weeks this one is high low this is something that we've always done with our kids if you recall uh, if you're you know my age or maybe older you might recall a movie that Bruce Willis did with Michelle Pfeiffer and it was called This Is Us, I think. 
is what the name of the movie is. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, and it's about a married couple and, um, like, marriage stuff. And they did this with their kids at the dinner table. They would say, hi, low. What was your high of the day? What was the low of your day? And there's been many different versions of that throughout the years, but it's just that's where I remember first hearing it. So I wanted to create a card that said, hi, low. We do that with our kids. What was the best part of your day? What was the worst part of your day? or best part of your week, worst part of your week, that kind of thing. So that was my, the last card I designed was this card. So again, if you're part of the membership, you're already getting these. If it's something that you would like to purchase, leave a comment in the description box or in the um, comments and uh, so that I know that it's something and I'll work on getting those up for sale individually quicker if there's interest for them. Otherwise, if you're part of the membership, they're linked every week. I share that. I also share the PNG. So if you wanted to use these on the Project Life app, you could totally do that. Um, it's totally easy to be able to use these in the Project Life app or in Photoshop um, using the PNG version of that. So I just wanted to share that today with you. That's all for my video for today. Just a quick uh, show and tell, I guess, uh, for this week. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful week. There are two other videos here on the screen that you can check out. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And then check out the other two videos that I have here on the screen for you. And I will be back next week with more videos for you. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and I will catch you on my next video.